Hello and welcome to Open SAP course, SAP Master Data Integration in the Intelligent Enterprise, Week 2, Unit 4, Introduction to Extensibility in SAP Master Data Integration. My name is Marika and I'm a developer at SAP. So let's dive into the content of this session. So this unit will cover what is extensibility, what are the scopes of extensibility, and what are prerequisites of extensibility. Now moving to what is extensibility. The extensibility API addresses the scenario where customers want to add fields to the pre-delivered data model of SAP Master Data Governance Cloud Edition, which will be reflected in all master data management processes. But these extensions should not be limited to MDG Cloud Instead, they should be synchronized to other applications like SAP S4 HANA so that the information can be used in these applications as well. Extensions are defined centrally for all interfaces, such as REST and SOAP and OData. A configuration of the extension field is required in the MDI side. These fields will be included in the payload in order to replicate the field values between MDI and its connected applications. Extension fields are also reflected in SOAP REST interoperability. So now let's move to the next part, which is the scopes of extensibility. The extensibility API v1 can create REST and SOAP based extensions together. This is restricted to entities that are annotated with at the rate of ODM extensible. The extensions can also be set by SAP Master Data Orchestration UI. SOAP extensions would by default point to the corresponding parent entity. The extensibility API only supports at the rate of is potentially sensitive ODM annotation. Extension configuration must not contain personal data. For more information on sensitive data, refer to data protection and privacy. All extension fields are valid for the SAP one domain model version in which they are defined and for all following versions that are compatible. For more details, see SAP one domain model support. The link will be available in our key learnings at the end of the unit. Extension fields are not applied to previous versions, even if they are compatible. Now let's move to the next part, which is the prerequisites for extensibility API. To make sure that extensibility API is working, whether you're using it by MDO UI or as an API, assign these roles to the user to perform extensibility. For example, extension developer. This role is required for creating extensions. The extensibility API accepts a business user token. You can learn how to configure this in unit 1.4, which covers authorizations also. The tenant instance should be enabled with right permission to extend entities. You can learn how to configure this in unit 1.4. Create a push and pull distribution model for the specific entities and you can learn how to configure this in unit 1 week 5. Now let's move to the key learnings part. Extensibility API enabled extensions of fields on top of already existing ODM data models. And extensions are defined centrally for all interfaces such as REST, SOAP and OData with new extensibility API v1. Now you can check the further uh, readings here. So here we have defined, uh, the first link defines whether what will be the extensions payload in different scenarios. And the another one is SAP master data integration. So now we are at the end of the unit. Thanks for listening and see you on the next unit.